Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz and soap. So I'm here to go discuss my review of this awesome sequel after its predecessor, Crocodile Dundee 2. So we got our Outback adventurer again, again, and this time he is fighting against drug dealers who have kidnapped his girlfriend in this Austin sequel. I gotta, I gotta say, it's so, so nice to see Paul Hogan at playing Mick Dundee again. But not only he's here, but there. But get this, fun fact: Do you know that Tatiana Ali from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air was in this? Not the average girl from your video. Yeah, she she had a small role in he, here as one of the kids kids that Mick was playing with. Oh, she was so cute back in the day. So I absolutely admire this sequel. It was so much better than its predecessor. I really do love the awesome things things Mick dig dig how he how he took down the bad guys one by one. But not only that. But not only in New York, but also he went back to Australia, so where he could finally, finally end, where he could finally capture them all, all, be becoming the hunter this time. And I gotta say, he he did it so good. I gotta say, I really do admire all the traps. He he laid with all with all the bad guys though. Well, it was very creative for him. You know, I do admire it. It though, I do believe one of my favorites is where he, where he used this, where he used this scent, scent on the bad guys and attracted so many bats on them. On them. It was pretty crazy. I say that. Hmm. So, I gotta say, though, so, when it comes to the Crocodile Dundee movies, they are no, they are not that shy of adding some villains in into the gig. I mean, in the first one, it did, it did had had sort of villains. It's like that, like that pimp. Like that nasty pimp who was being so rude, rude to the hookers, hookers swear, swearing in front of them. He he was such an ass. That's, that's, I guess, but I got I got I I do like it how Mick gave him what he deserved. Mm -hmm. I really, I do. So as for the sequel, I really do admire it. I love the, I love the, I love, the, I love the new story we have here. I, I love the, I love the plot and everything. It was so cool. So, I gotta give it to Paul Paul Hogan. Whoever thought he was so cool back in the day. So, for my score for this one, I think I'll give it a 9. Definitely a 9. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Happy New Year!